on WRAL News. Brian, thanks. Today, 55 of the first black Marines in U.S. history received the Congressional Gold Medal for their service. The Montford Point Marines integrated the Marine Corps at their base in Jacksonville, North Carolina in the 1940s. WRL's Keenan Willard shows us the challenges they overcame to serve. At this morning's ceremony, family members of newly identified Montford Point Marines and one surviving service member received the nation's highest civilian honor. The Montford Point Marines served from 1942 to 1949, integrating the Marine Corps during World War II after an executive order from FDR. Around 20,000 men served at Montford Point, a base for black soldiers that was segregated from Camp Lejeune. Experts say during their service, Montford Marines faced racism and oppression from the Jacksonville community. They overcame, though, and built their own barracks and training facilities. In 2012, the first group of Montford Marines received the Congressional Gold Medal. Today, 54 deceased soldiers' family members and one living service member got their medals. That living Marine tells me this honor is something he never could have imagined while serving. I mean, a whole lot. <laughs> something I never would have think that would happen, but it did. Experts say up to this point, around 3,000 congressional gold medals have been given out to the family members of Montford Point Marines. More than 16,000 still need to be awarded. Keenan Willard, WRL News, Jacksonville. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. Hundreds of thousands of people will be on the National Mall this weekend in Washington, D.C. to mark the 60th anniversary of the March on Washington. The highlight of that day in 1963 was Dr. Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. It's listed among the greatest speeches ever delivered by an American and most notable ever delivered by a non-president. While the March on Washington was a major success, civil rights activists say the work is not over. The theme for tomorrow's event is called not a commemoration, a continuation. Kerry's mayor is condemning an act of vandalism involving a campaign sign for a candidate for town council.